right, I'm immediately jumping over from my basketball workout and going straight into my lower body athletic enhancement. This is straight off of our vertical blueprint, which will guarantee results in your vertical jumping, your uh, quickness off the ground, and also your speed in general. The first set we got, or first exercise we got, is called a Pollican Step Up, and it's really going to help develop your patellas if you have knee pain, if you have Oshkin Swatters, or anything like that. This is something you absolutely have to do. You're going to go over to anything like a ledge, like I have right here, and you're going to stand on it. Now the goal is to keep your upper body nice and straight, and you're just going to simply keep your other leg, or let's say that you're starting with your right leg out, and you're going to bend down to the floor and pause, and then you're going to stand up. That positive movement is what we're working for, all right? Notice I'm going nice and slow. There is no rush on this, and actually the slower you go, the better. The faster you go, you might get injured. So again, it's nice and slow. I'm keeping my leg extended. I'm working on my core balance. I'm standing down. I get to the ground, and I stand up. Maybe that's too steep. What you'd want to do if that was too steep is you'd want to find a surface like I have over here to the right of me that's a little bit uh, less inclined. It's a smaller step. It's still the same workout, but now I'm just going to go shorter range of motion. And again, I want to strengthen, not damage. So I'm just going to have that right leg out. I'm going to squat down, touch the ground, and then explode up and force that leg to stiffen out and that knee to really get stronger. This is what you need to have in order to get a positive and powerful vertical jump. You're going to do both legs like that, nice and slow and controlled, and all the reps and information are on the right-hand side here and in the vertical blueprint workouts that we're sending you. So follow those carefully and make sure that you're doing everything with either someone watching you, videoing yourself, or at least do it where you're comfortable and you know you're not going to get hurt um, and go slow. You can use a step, a curb, a box, whatever it might be. But once again, make sure you're safe. All right, this next one is work on our hip flexors. You can do this with a pull-up bar hanging like an L but you can also just do this seated on the ground. I'm gonna come from the side angle so you can see, but basically I'm gonna have my hips flat on the ground, my legs flat on the ground, but my arms are gonna push my butt up. When my butt comes off the ground, I'm gonna pick one of the legs, starting with my right, and I'm gonna kick it up and hold it as high as I can. When you're in that hold, it's gonna work your hip flexors and it's gonna help with your flexibility and strength. This will help with your defensive slide, your ability to squat, your ability to jump, and basically everything you need in the game of basketball. So over here, I'm flat. Notice my foot is not up. My feet are pointed to the sky. I'm going to raise that right leg, and I'm going to drive my hip up, and I'm going to hold this, focusing on my hip. That's where the contraction is. My butt is going up to the sky, and I'm squeezing and holding. And again, you need no equipment for this, but you're just going to hold. Squeeze that butt. Focus your hips up to the sky, and you're going to hold that for 30 seconds. Come down, give your arms a quick rest. Maybe get something softer than gravel so your hands don't hurt, and switch legs. Drive it up and hold it. And again, you're going to feel that in your hips and on the sides of your basically waist, which will help you in all those areas I explained earlier that you need to be a great basketball player. After we do our Pollican step ups, we have our tibialis raises. This one's an extremely simple exercise that just takes a lot of focus, but it's going to strengthen everything on the sides of our ankles and legs that's going to limit any ankle injuries, but also help strengthen the calf, the tibialis, and up into the knee that once again is going to improve your vertical and your quickness and your strength off the ground. All you're going to do is find a post like I have here or a wall. You're going to get extended where your knees are locked out. Notice my knees are locked out. I'm putting my hands on my knees just to make sure, and I'm going to focus my toes to come up and, and really contract the sides of my legs. And I'm going to squeeze, so I'm going to come up and down. Real simple. Up and down. You might have to find the good balance or kind of feeling for it, but again, it can be longer or taller. Your knees got to be locked out. Up and down. 
It's going to take a lot of control to do this, but by doing this, you're strengthening everything on the side of your leg, like I mentioned, and that's going to help you be a basketball player, um, help you be more explosive in any sport you play, and it all goes together with these exercises we're giving you. So this one's not as uh, complicated, uh, and there's not as many safety precautions, but again, it's a lot of focus and going over and over and over that contraction in your head on the tibialis, raising those toes and squeezing your tibialis. <laughs> All right, this next one goes without a lot of explanation, but they're gonna be calf raises. I'm gonna demonstrate right over here on the curb where I found a sign or a metal pole that I can also hold on to for stability. We're gonna focus on that full stretch so that ankle needs to be all the way down with the heel almost touching the ground with your foot on the curb or a step or whatever you have at home that you can use. And then you wanna fully contract it up and squeeze and stretch. We're going to do that with two feet, but also one foot. This is exactly the opposite part of the pollicans step up in the tibialis because it's working the back of the legs. So we get our full leg development. Over here you'll see I got my sign, I got my curb, I got nothing fancy. I'm not in the gym. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to simply hold on to the sign. I'm going to stretch all the way down. And I'm going to focus those calves all the way up and stretch and down and stretch down. Notice each time I'm getting a full contraction so that muscle is really working to stabilize and then I'm getting a full stretch, making sure we really develop our legs and making sure that we're the best basketball player we can be. After doing two foot, you also have a one foot variation where you're going to hold something. You might put your foot behind or just let it hang. I like going behind. I'm going to come up. And I'm going to stretch. I'm going to come up. And I'm a stretch. Like I said, calf raises are not that uh, complicated, very easy to uh, kind of understand, and requires zero equipment, just the will to get better. All right, this next one, after we do all of our lifting exercises, the pelican step up, the hip flexors, the calf raises, the tibialises, now we're going to go into some simple jump progressions. All the reps and all the sets are on the side here and in your vertical blueprint. But for this one, we're going to go one-legged. We call these like pogo hops or just mini hops. And you're going to basically go one, two. On the second jump, when you land, you're going to land with both feet. So one, two. And on the second one, you're going to land with both feet in an athletic position, and you're going to explode up. That's one rep. So full speed, it's one, two, land, explode. All right? Notice I did three there. I didn't really count correctly. I'm going to do it again. One, two, three. You're going to do that for your athletic enhancement today in terms of jumping, both left leg and both right leg. Again, look for the sets and reps on the side so you can do both your right leg and your left leg. Two hops on the second hop. One, two, land, and then explode. Use your arms and your hips to really engage yourself. If you want to stand under a net, I'm out of the courts right now. You can do that to kind of mark and keep yourself honest to make sure that you're staying accountable and you're jumping as high as you can each and every time. 